Hello, I'm Patrick O'Driscoll, President and CEO of Corby Sprint Wine Limited. I'm pleased to introduce to you a special 360 degree virtual tour of the legendary Hiram Walker and Sons Limited Distillery. Pleased that you're going to be able to meet our master blender, Dr. Don Livermore, who will take you through the process from distillation to blending, and our global brand ambassador, Dave Mitten, who's going to share with you one of his favorite Canadian whiskey cocktails. So enjoy the tour and cheers. Hi, I'm Dr. Don Livermore, JP Weiser's master blender. We're here at the JP Weiser's newly renovated brand center. Here we want to teach and educate people about how Canadian whiskey is produced. We've been making fine award-winning whiskeys for over 150 years here at Windsor, Ontario. Now we're at the highest point of the Heimwalker & Sons Distillery, home of J.P. Weiser's, where we have some of the best views in Windsor, Ontario. If you look down, you'll notice we're located directly on the Detroit River, which helps to naturally cool our facility. If you look behind you, you'll see an entire view of the Detroit skyline and a beautiful view of the surrounding areas. After the green is taken out of the truck, we then do our quality checks with it. The most important quality check we do is actually sniff and smell the grain for its quality. He's also looking for moisture, crack kernel, for material uh, to ensure that fermentation and distillation goes correctly. Let's head on now to the distillery and we can see how that uh, works out. Cooking the mash pops open the grain starch. Enzymes are used to create the sugar in the starch. We cool the mash in the tanks with water from the Great Lakes and then add the yeast producing alcohol from the sugars. This is known as fermentation. During the process, the mash is held in our massive four stories fermentation tanks. They are 190,000 liters in capacity and are 65 feet tall. This is JP Weiser's laboratory. Here we've been ensuring the quality of our whiskey since 1858, true to JP Weiser's founding recipe. We evaluate our products with trained personnel to make sure we look for the color and the consistency of J.P. Weiser's brands and products. We're out here at the Pike Creek Aging Facility where we have 1.6 million barrels. We have 16 warehouses and it's a size of 96 hockey rinks. This is one of the most southerly points in Canada and inside this warehouse there's no electricity which means we're held to our natural climatic conditions. The hot warm summers, the cool winters. What that causes is the loss of alcohol and evaporation inside of our barrels. We call that the angel share and there must be some very happy angels inside of this warehouse today. Lot number 40 is chill filtered and bottled as fast as 150 bottles per minute. Our production line allows us to produce a hugely contrasting range of brands that celebrate the exciting diversity of Canadian whiskey. Lot number 40 with its big, bold rye flavors and Pike Creek and the art of double barreling are just two of these exciting variants. And although the bottling process is mostly automated, Every step is done under the dedication of human eyes to ensure the same consistency, and quality and safety that we are so proud of here in Windsor for over 150 years. Hi, I'm Dave Mitten, Global Canadian Whiskey Ambassador for J.P. Weiser's Lot Number 40, Pike Creek and Gooderham and Warts Canadian Whiskey. Today, I want to make one of my favorites actually, uh, an old fashioned, back to 1888 when it was first recorded. Simply spirit, sugar, bitters, water. So we're gonna take sugar cube, put it in the bottom of the mixing glass, about six to seven dashes of Angostura bitters. And then we're gonna take just a touch of soda water so we can dissolve the sugar and make a bit of a paste. There we go. Now the most important ingredient, lot number 40, 100% pot still dry whiskey. I'm gonna do about two and a half ounces of that. There we go. Of course, we're gonna add some ice to chill down the glass and dilute just a little bit. I'm gonna stir it about 18 to 30 times. Then I always like to use a large two inch cube of ice because you don't want the drink to dilute that much afterwards. Drain it over the cube. And then the final ingredient, we're going to add orange oils for aromatics. And that's simply just taking a zest off the orange. 
and we're gonna squeeze it across the top. As I said, just for the nose, place it in the drink, and there we have it. Lot number 40 Old Fashioned. Cheers.